Today on Ask Bloop, how important is your high school education for studying animation? Welcome to Ask Bloop, more here from bloopanimation.com. It's Friday and it's time for your questions. Do you accept any interns? We don't take any interns at the moment, though I thought about it. We've recently moved into a new office space and as we expand, I definitely hope to bring in interns in the future. Do you think making a photorealistic animated short is worth the time? Or should I just make a short with a DSLR? I've always thought that when you make an animated film or a short, there need to be a good reason for making it in animation. If you can do the same movie in live action as you would in animation, that's a sign that you might shouldn't do it in animation. With how CG looks today, it makes more and more sense to make live action rather than animation for concepts that in the past wouldn't work in live action. Look at the latest Jungle Book or any of the other Disney live action remakes. There's a reason they were made as animated films back in the day. Because there was no way to make animals look like that. So they had to make the whole film animated. But today it makes much more sense to do a film like that with a real boy and a bunch of CG animals. Some films though, like Finding Dory or The Secret Life of Pets, wouldn't work as live action, since the focus of our story is talking animals. That rule doesn't always apply though. Look at Pixar's The Incredible or Up. Those movies could probably work as live actions also. So to answer your question, if you think you can make the film with a DSLR and make a live action, it's probably the way to go, since you could get it done much faster and cheaper. And assuming you're just one person and not a production studio, that probably means the difference between doing it and getting tangled in a project that might not wind up happening. What do you think about cracking software or plugins to get better as a student? How big of a role does your education play when applying to an art school? SAT scores, GPA, etc. This is a topic that always gets me riled up because I spent my high school years on the edges of failure fighting to survive being tested and scored on subjects that I knew deep inside had nothing to do with who I wanted to be. That made me even angrier when I was rejected from SVI the first time I applied because of my grades. It took me an extra year of going to a different school, taking courses to increase my GPA before I eventually got accepted to SVA. So unfortunately, in terms of getting into a good school, GPA and SATs are going to make a difference. In terms of knowledge, it's not gonna make much of a difference. The school system still doesn't know what to do with students who don't conform to the way schools have always worked, in which you study to get a good grade, and that's the only metric of how good you are. I'm not gonna keep rambling about this because just talking about it right now makes me really mad. But I wrote an entire article about this topic called I Can't Believe They Made Me Do Algebra, which you can read on my business blog at limebrush.com. I'll link to it in the description. All right, that's all the questions for today. If you have one, post it in the comment section below. And if you wanna stay updated on animation news or see if your question was answered, click the subscribe button. Right here. There you go. See you next week.